Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Patterns make math easy. So in this video, I will introduce some patterns related to repeating decimal. And just want to see how to convert fractions to repeating decimal. And the first part, I will give you some little bit introduction about terminating decimal and repeating decimal. Let's say if you have 1 divided to 1 over 2, this is 0 0.5. This is a terminating decimal because it's divisible, right? But if you put this one, which is this is 1 over 2, is 0 0.5. And actually, if you change the bottom to this one, you can change this one, 1 over 2 equals to 5 over 10, because this is 0 0.5, or we can say it's 5 tenths, right? This one is 5 tenths. Right? 5 tenths. That's why the 5 tenths. That's why we got the 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5, which is terminating decimal. Now, look at this. If this is the bottom, denominator become 9. If this is 5 over 9. What does this answer? We can use calculator to show you here. Is five divided by nine equals to look is zero point five 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 forever, which is we call this is zero point five repeating decimal. So this one give us something idea think about. 5 over 10 is 0 0.5, terminating decimal. 5 over 9 equals 0 0.5, repeating decimal. It's all the other number like that one. And then we can see, actually it's very interesting. Say, if you have, let's say, 3 over 10, And then we got 0 0.3 terminating decimal. If we have 3 over 9, and we got the 0 0.3 repeating decimal, see? Anything you can write. 7 over 10 equal 0 0.7, which is 7 tenths terminating decimal. But if you Find 7 over 9, it gives you 0 0.7 repeating decimal. See? So that's why you can see this is the pattern 1 I will show you here. Any number divided by 9 always get the repeating. If this is a 1 divided by 9, it's 0 0.1 repeating. You can use calculate to, to prove it. And 2 over 9 is 0 0.2 repeating. 3 over 9 is 0 0.3 repeating, 4 over 9 equals 3, 0 0.4 repeating, here. 7 over 9 equals 0 0.7 repeating, 8 over 9 equals 0 0.8 repeating. So this is the pattern, one digit repeating. As long as the repeating decimal is one digit, for example 0 0.9 repeating, or 0 0.8 repeating, 0 0.7 repeating, always the denominator is 9. Something, for example, if you have, let's say, 2 thirds, see this is bottom, it's 2 thirds, and because 3 can make 9. So you multiply 3 over 3, 
convert this fraction into equivalent fraction, right? Because you multiply 3 to the top, multiply 3 to the bottom, you got the 6 over 9. Once you got the denominator at 9, this is the repeating decimal, 0 0.6 repeating. But if you just do 2 over 3, you divide it, you can say, oh, you do 2 divided by 3, 0, 20, 6, 18, you still have 2 remainder. You carry on this one, you still get the 6, right? So actually, you always get the 2 remainder, you got 0 0.666 going on and on. So it's 0 0.6 repeat. So every time if you have a fraction, the bottom can be converted to 9. It's easy for you. The same thing, for example, we, yeah, I have another example to show you. For example, if you have, let's say, one third, you can make 3 over 3, make 3 over 9, then this is equal 0 0.3 repeat, right? 0 0.3 repeat. So let's do some other fraction. For example, for example, if you have uh, 16 over 9, what the distance? 16 over 9 is improper fraction. You, you can do this. You say 16 divided 9 is 1, remainder 7. As long as you know the 7 remainder, this is a 1 and the 7 over 9. This one is one whole number point because 709 is a fraction. One is a whole number. So one point 709 is 7 repeat, right? And also you can see if you have 22 divided by 9. So this one, and this is a 2 point repeating. I said 2.4 repeating. The other tricks is when you divide the 9, you can have first digit is 2, the first digit 2, and the second digit in divide the 9 is to add these two numbers, which is the remainder. So 2.4 remainder. 2.4 repeating decimal, right? If you prove it, you say 22 divided the 9 is 2 times 9, is 18, 22 minus 18 is a 4, so you have 2 and a 4 over 9, you got the 2 and a 4 over 9, which is 2.4 repeating, right? If it's 3 digit, if it's 3 digit, let's say 3 digit is a, uh, 1, 23 over 9, so when divided 9, you can, the first digit is 1, this is 1, this is 1. The second digit, and these two add together, is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then you have 3 plus 3 is 6, which is remainder. So this is a 6 over 9. Actually, it calls 13.6 repeating. So we can prove it. 23 divided 9 is 1. You got the 33. And this is 3 times 9 is 27, you have 6 remainder, see? 13 and 6 over 9, see? And maybe you ask for what is 2 digit repeating, 2 digit repeating. The 2 digit repeating, I can give you, uh, say, two di if a 2 digit repeating, a 2 digit repeating if you have number let's say 11 over related to 99 this one will get 0 0.11 repeating same thing compared with 11 over 100 11 over 100 you got 0 0.11 or say 1100 1100 is 0 0.11, which is terminating decimal. This is terminating, it's not repeating. But if you have denominator is 99, then you got 0 0.11 repeating. 
right? The same pattern. If you had let's say seventy three, this seventy three over hundred, you got zero point seven three terminating decimal. But you have seventy three over ninety nine, then you give you zero point seven three repeating. So this is the pattern. So patterns make fast easy, right? Yeah. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.